Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This film is rated PG for mild themes, sexualized imagery and infrequent course language. This is Kiz Reviews and this is my review of Living. Living is a particularly gentle, calmly paced and beautiful piece of cinema that evolves the thematic ideas of confronting the inevitability of death, as well as fulfilling the intentions and morals of being a good person in service to that of others. This is a film that makes you reflect after its conclusion. It's a very easy movie to get through, but the way it innocently captures your heart is intentionally wholesome. What I found the most interesting about Living is that it's a British remake of the beloved classic Japanese film Ikiru, and what makes this stand out as a great remake is that it openly promotes that it is based on Kurosawa's original. Despite Living playing out almost exactly like Akiru, it has a shorter run time than its original, but it focuses on the least highlighted aspects of Akiru, and exploits that by blowing that up into a larger story in order to make Living feel a little bit more original, which I certainly appreciated. The plot is the exact same, the characters are the exact same, but what elevates Living is its kindness and its storytelling. It doesn't match the tone of Akiru, and I loved that it separated itself by lingering on different key points than Akiru did. Going into this film blind, I had no clue that this was a remake, and the only true reason that I went to see Living was because Bill Nye is nominated for Best Actor at the Oscars next week. Even though he isn't the frontrunner to win the award, it is blatantly clear why he was nominated. His voice is unrecognisable and his mannerisms are subtle, but access a deeper level of emotion that never feels explicitly on display. Through his performance, you hear his progressive breaks, whether it be cracks in his voice or a lower tone or a shift in his normal facial expressions. It's the subtleties that make Bill's performance so impressive. I loved that this was all also still set in the 1950s as Akira was released in 1952, but what made me love that was its opening sequence. It immediately catered for the style of film opening that you would see in classic 1950s movies like Rear Window or Sunset Boulevard. The opening credits were done in that Hollywood style of font from that era, while also having its own film grain as a layer on the sequences being shot. Even though this only lasts for the opening title sequence, it's still invigorating and exciting that it honours the era of movies upon which it is set. The biggest credit to Living besides Bill's performance is the score. Emily did a beautiful job in transcending and elevating each scene that didn't require a distinct and intended silence throughout it. Her compositions elicit raw, true emotion and connects you to the characters more than you ever thought you could before going in. Since the characters are so well developed and bring about a connection that stays with you for a while, Emily's music makes the emotional impact so much harder and puts you in a vulnerable place as an audience member. Usually during films I only really notice a score when it does nothing but stand out and this was honestly one of the most most perfectly suited scores for this movie. The pairing of this music along with the performances and narrative was engaging in and of itself. I also really enjoyed watching Amy Lou Wood as she's established herself as one of the most intricately accessible actresses I've ever seen. There's one scene in this film where she gets in touch with her emotions and it literally looks effortless, even though you can tell she is giving so much sentimentality and fragility to the scene as possible. The team up of Bill and Amy was honestly perfect and provided for one of the best casting choices of recent memory in my opinion. Living is a very relaxing film while also being particularly gentle as it faithfully and respectfully honours and adapts Akira Kurosawa's classic Akiru as a British remake that manages to successfully define new areas within the already told story. Bill Nye and Amy Lou Wood come together to portray one of the most honest and vulnerable narratives with such power, but also with a beautiful touch of holding back so as not to overpower the calm and gentle tone and pace. The score is gorgeous and does everything it needs to in order to elicit certain emotional reactions from the audience while also making it a standout aspect of the entire experience. Everything about Living was done so well and I honestly thought that it deserved more recognition during this year's awards season, but all in all it beautifully brought a new insight into the story of Akiru and also made a name for itself on its own. It's a hard thing to achieve, especially when it's a remake and Living did everything right, so I'll give Living an 8 out of 10. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Letterboxd and Instagram for all of my latest movie reviews. This has been Kia's Reviews, signing off for now. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.